This is a demonstration of the configuration of Desfire EV1 using CardLogic's card configuration utility in Smart Tools, as well as its connection to CardLogic's card encoding engine for rapid personalization and coding. First, I'll select the card type, which is the Desfire EV1 8K in this case. Then I'll select our sample project, which has been pre-designed for this demonstration. This example includes a variety of encryption options. For example, these files are all protected by the standard DES algorithm. We use the label DE5 for this directory or AID. Then you can quickly see which algorithm is being used to protect each AID. This is using three DES and this one is using AES. Each contains a standard data file and a backup data file. The AES AID has an example value file with data already written to it, so this will be fixed data stored on every card, rather than accepting new data from Card Encoding Engine during the personalization and encoding process. This also applies to the linear records and cyclic records. In this example, the card can use single DES, triple DES, or AES for the authentication for being able to communicate to the card. After the authentication is performed using the algorithm specified, you can then decide how to communicate with the card. This can be in plain text or with a message authentication code, MAC. We recommend using the full encryption mode, which protects the data via authentication as well as the reading and the writing of the data via the specified encryption method. So now let's take this card project file and we'll personalize the card. First, save to card. Okay, card saved successfully. Now you just have to save this project file to Card Encoding Engine in the card file subfolder. We already have one here, but we'll overwrite this file, ev1sample.cpf. Okay, looks good. Now we're going to switch to Card Encoding Engine. Now we're ready to personalize the Desfire EV1 card with Card Encoding Engine. First, we'll select a sample project. I'll use Employee ID. Now we're going to switch to the Project Editor workspace. First, we have to save it with a new name. EV1 sample. Now we can change the card type. It was already set to the right card. Now we'll return to the encoder workspace. As you can see, the card doesn't have any data on it because we haven't selected or imported any enrollment data yet. Actual enrollment data is imported easily thanks to the IDBlocks data interoperability standard. For demonstration and testing purposes, one set of data is fixed within the software and then the other is the use of test XML files or records. We'll use the text XML files for this demonstration. Now you can see some of the sample data coming through on the card above. Okay, now we're going to switch to the connections workspace to ensure that our data goes to the right files on the CPF. Okay, first I'm going to open the tab for Desfire. Then I have to load the same CPF that was created in Smart Tools Card Configuration Utility. As you can see, the card project file structure on the above left is an exact replica of the CPF that was created in the CCU. Our next step is to drag and drop user data fields from the right into their corresponding files. If files are highlighted green, that means that the file is large enough to accept that particular field or data element. If it's not green, it will not work. So now we'll go back to the encoder workspace. Some of the sample data is displaying, so now we'll go ahead and encode that data to the Desfire EV1 chip. The quickest way to do this is to use the single test card option. For actual card production, you can change the settings to batch or job mode. Looks like everything was encoded successfully. Thank you for watching this short demonstration. The software offers many other features that have not been explored here. 
You are welcome to download a free trial of Card Encoding Engine to learn more. In addition to Desfire EV1 cards, Card Encoding Engine encodes CardLogix Most Card microprocessor smart cards, which are configured with CardLogix Most tools and many other card technologies. Smart tools, most tools, with their card configuration utilities and card encoding engine are all available today from resellers around the world. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact a sales representative from CardLogix today.